I think if this hasn't happened to you, it's difficult to appreciate the impact that being on a, a victim of this sort of behaviour can have. It simply has a lasting impact on people. And we need to do more to stop these abuses of power. And I'm pleased that having convened this meeting of party leaders today, we have agreed a way forward. Uh, we are going to ensure that there's an upgrade to the existing phone line for staff so that staff in future will be able to get face-to-face -face HR support and that for that to be in place by the end of the month. And we've also agreed that we need a completely new grievance procedure for staff working here, uh, for everybody working here, and that that should come into effect in the new year. So I think an important step forward has been taken today. It's important that we get this right. And I'm sorry that we have seen these abuses of power too many taking place over too many years. And the fact that they've taken place here at our seat of democracy should be a matter of shame for us all. We've taken an important step forward today. Uh, it's important that we get this right. And that's what I intend to do. There are concerns that one of the things that allowed this to take hold in Westminster particularly was a culture whereby whips sat on information in order to use it against MPs. Can you categorically say that you knew nothing about any of these allegations before they came to the fore because of the Harvey Weinstein scandal? Yeah. The allegations that have come to the fore in the last week I've been made aware of over that time period because of things that have appeared in the press but also allegations that I've been uh, told over the last week in private uh, action has been taken with a number of uh, Conservative members of Parliament. But figures from across the political parties have had allegations made against them. What is important is that Parliament, we come together here in Parliament as leaders of parties have done today to say that we need to bring an end to this abuse of power. What is important is that people who have uh, been victims of this behaviour be it sexual harassment or bullying of any sort, that those victims feel confident in coming forward with their complaints and knowing that there will be an impartial and proper and fair investigation of those complaints. On a separate subject, do you have full confidence in Priti Patel? Yeah, I've spoke to Priti Patel today. Um, she has uh, explained and clarified the visit to Israel that she made, uh, and I have accepted the apology that she's given for the way she handled that uh, particular visit. And I've spoken to her about the Ministerial Code and about the implications of the Ministerial Code.